So it took me a couple of years of working with Svelte to realize that there is actually a way that we can comment on our components. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you use the form snap library, the library that I created, kind of goes with Svelte Git Superforms, you'll notice that if you hover over one of the components you use, you'll get this sort of mini documentation here within the component, which is super useful. We can have links to the documentation, we can add a description, we can even show usage examples, as we'll see here with the control. Now, for some reason, I couldn't get it to respect my indentations, but this is still pretty powerful considering that, you know, when you hover over a regular element in Svelte, or I'm not sure if this is Svelte or if this is the browser, or this is the IDE that's doing this, but it gives you a description of the element as well as a link to the MDN reference, which is super useful. So to look at how this is done, if we just check out the control component, you can see that we just open up an HTML comment block. We add this at component indicator here. I guess that's how that's let Svelte know like, hey, the rest of this stuff is gonna be uh, part of the components comments or comp docs or whatever you wanna call this. It's like JS doc, but for the components, but not really. Um, just really to give it a description. And you can see here we've added the title as well as some descriptions. We can add links here. So it's basically just markdown within this comment block as well as the example. You can see I've indented it here, but for some reason when we're checking it out from the consumer side, we don't actually see that label. So this is a pretty cool little thing I'm gonna start doing with all of my projects or at least all my public facing projects. And it'd be even great to do internally at your company as well. That way you don't have to constantly jump around to figure out some basic information about a component, like it's slot props. In the future for Svelte 5, this will of course be the snippet props. So that'll be super useful just to be able to see that without actually having to fully destructure or dive into the components type. You can just quickly hover and get that information that you need. So I know this is a quick video today. I wanted to show this to you all. I know it's not documented anywhere as of yet, so hopefully it will be soon. Uh, but yeah, have a great day.